Hi guys, my name is Alex Shenshin and this is my video about backend to frontend data flow and pagination in React application. So, what we are talking about in general when we say pagination. Say we have Express.js server listening to HTTP requests. This server recognizes a frontend request to some resource, for example, products. Gets required data from a database and sends back a JSON response with that data. But the database can find and send back a really huge number of objects in response. So, from the front-end side, we need to tell the back-end server what part of that big amount of objects we want. The back-end has to select from the database only the required amount of objects and also has to inform what particular part of data it's sending back. When a visitor comes to the product page, it sends a request to the backend route. Hey, give me the first portion of your objects. Express on the backend sends the first portion of objects and also informs the frontend. Hey, I still have such and such total number of pages of your objects. And the current page and the objects per page are such and such. Frontend should display the first portion of data and also display the links where the visitor could click and get the rest of his products. I wrote a small full stack application that does all the things that I just described. Let me show you how it works. First, a visitor enters the slash route in a browser address bar. And he or she gets the first portion of data. Then the user can click a link to the next page. Or enter the corresponding route in a browser address bar. Like this. When the visitor clicks the last link, it's possible to see that the last portion of data was shorter than the others. Look at the pagination part of the document. Notice that the currently selected page is highlighted. Also notice that the item numbers continue the numeration of the whole list not just the currently uh, displayed and also here. Now let me briefly show you the code of the application. It consists of the backend and the frontend parts. I put a sample products data array in products.js file. Server.js launches express server and listens to the get requests at localhost 5000 API products route. It expects a query string with a page number and sends the corresponding part of the products array in a JSON object. Also, it includes to the response the information about current page number, number of items of the page, and total pages. On the other side, in the front end, React Router DOM is listening to the requests to its own route, local host 3000, and redirects the visitor to the products component. In turn, the product component makes a fetch request to the backend and receives the first portion of products objects with the pagination information provided by the express server. Then it displays the products 
and passes pagination data to the pagination component, which uh, shows links to the other pages. The pagination component simply displays the links to the available pages of products. Thanks guys for watching. Those who are interested in details may find the source code of this application in the link to this video and in my GitHub page.